Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Jen. I am originally from South Africa. I then spent 11 years in England and in a few days time, I will have lived in New Zealand for nine years. We are citizens of New Zealand now. We absolutely love it here. This has been the best move that we've ever made. We are so happy in New Zealand. But no place is perfect and it's not for everyone. Immigrating is so expensive and so hard to do and it's such a big move that you really want to be sure that the place you're moving to is going to be a good fit for you and for your family. So I wanted to make this video sharing seven reasons why living in New Zealand, while it's perfect for me, may not be the right move for you. The first reason living in New Zealand might not be for you is if you really, really enjoy traveling. New Zealand has so much to offer and you can travel from one end to the other, but if jetting off to other countries and other places and cities is really important to you, then living here just might not work for you. It is very, very expensive and very, very time consuming to travel pretty much anywhere. Australia is fairly close, so are things like Fiji, the Cook Islands, whatever. But if you wanna nip to Europe, it's gonna take you 25 plus hours. If traveling to lots of different countries really matters to you, then New Zealand might not be the best place to settle. Another reason New Zealand might not be for you is if living amongst a lot of history, like really, really old things is really important to you. I have a friend in England who really values this. She really enjoys that about England, that there are places with historical significance that go back many, many years, thousands of years even, and there's just so much history in one place. And New Zealand is a fairly young country, so it just doesn't have that. So if that really matters to you, New Zealand might not be for you. The third reason, is if you want things done quickly. Now, obviously everything is relative and like I said, I'm relating this to our previous places that we've lived, which is England and South Africa, but mainly England. That's kind of where I spent my adult, most of my adult years before moving to New Zealand. And things in New Zealand, they happen slightly on a more casual timeline or basis than they did in England. So if you want things done quickly, if you want your paperwork put through quickly, if you're buying a house or even like the immigration process, it doesn't always happen that way. Things can take a long time. They can be done quite slowly, in my opinion, in New Zealand. And that could be a deal breaker for some people. So I did want to mention it. The fourth reason New Zealand might not be for you is if you really enjoy lots of shopping and lots of variety. You just don't get that here. Things are expensive and variety is limited. I don't mind that, but for some people it's really important to be able to go on a big shopping spree, to have lots and lots of choices and variety and options and lots of shops. But if that matters to you, maybe New Zealand isn't the place for you, unless you wanna go across to Australia or somewhere else for shopping trips. The first reason is if you like things to be more formal, to dress up, to have things more sophisticated. New Zealand is a very casual country. I live in South Taranaki, which is like dairy farming country and things are super casual here. It's really easy to let yourself go. There are obviously areas of like maybe Auckland where things are more sophisticated and more kind of dressed up, but overall, New Zealand is a very casual country. And if you really want that sophistication and that formality, New Zealand might not be for you. If you're after a super casual laid back lifestyle, this is the place to come. The sixth reason is if you really, really feel strongly that spanking needs to be in your repertoire of parental skills. Spanking is actually illegal in New Zealand. So if it's really important to you, maybe don't come here. You're not allowed to spank or hit or smack your child in New Zealand. And the seventh reason New Zealand might not be for you is if you are in a very low income field. Immigrating is so expensive, it's gonna set you back financially and it's gonna take a while to recover. And just overall things are expensive here. So if your field of work is a low income one, you're probably going to struggle and it may not be the lifestyle that you're after, depending on what you're looking for. It's possible that you'll have trouble even getting a visa if you're in a low income field because there are income thresholds depending on which visa you go for. I would recommend speaking to a licensed immigration advisor if you want visa advice and I will link one down below for you. I have a Facebook group called Moving to New Zealand which I will link down below. We have I think almost 12,000 members in there now. It's growing so fast. And it's a place for people who are wanting to move to New Zealand or who have made the move to support each other, to share experiences, to answer questions. We do have some industry professionals in the group as well as sponsors. So they're there to answer questions and to kind of make connections if you're looking for somebody to help you with your journey. So I urge you to check that out. So some of the reasons that I've shared in this video 
are maybe not deal breakers for you but they may be deal breakers for some people and I just wanted to share them so that as part of your research into whether or not New Zealand is going to be a good fit for you you kind of have a little bit more information to go on none of these reasons obviously were a deal breaker for me and my family we absolutely love it here it was the best move we ever made and we couldn't be happier I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one